Ushago Bamgoshi, the National Coordinator Concerned Advocates for Good Governance, has claimed that the Attorney General of the Federal of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abu Bakr Malami, is plotting to take over from President Muhammad Buhari come 2023. Malami, according to Bamboshi, has taken over the leadership of the cabals, and just like late Abba Kiari, he, Abu Bakr Malami, is also eyeing the presidential villa. To achieve this, Bam Goshe, a senior lawyer and 2023 presidential hopeful, said that Malami, as a lawyer by profession, is leaving no stone unturned and has made the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, his target. Malami is fully aware of Tinubu's EFCC ordeal. It was an arrangement. Tinubu could be his biggest obstacle, and so he must go down as soon as possible, Bamboshi told Naira Lovers. Politics is a game played by the masters, won by the smartest. The cabals are at work. The late chief of staff, Abe Kiari, was undoubtedly the leader of the cabals when he was alive. It was rumored back then that he was hatching a plan to take over from Buhari, but death swept him away from the political horizon. Malami, the Attorney General of the Federation, has taken over the leadership of the cabals. Interestingly, just like late Abba Kiari, he is also eyeing the presidential villa. He has started putting things in order to take over from Buhari come 2023. It's most likely a sitting governor from the Southwest may end up becoming his running mate. In essence, the cabals will want to ensure that power will remain and retain, will be retained by the North come 2023. Malami, as a lawyer by profession is leaving no stones unturned to actualize his presidential ambition. Tinubu is his first target. The game is really becoming interesting because Tinubu is equally re-strategizing to beat down Malami. This might not even be an easy task anyway. The North is not comfortable with Tinubu's presidential ambition. They very well understand that his silence on national issues is not an indication that he will be loyal to them. Tinubu should, however, forget any form of sympathy from the Southwest Virginia as its nemesis at work. However, let it be known to Malami that no amount of strategies and scheming will make him to succeed Buhari. The presidency must go to the South come 2023, and it's never negotiable. It will be inequitable and unacceptable for the North to retain power in 2023. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? From the look of things, the road to 2023 is beginning to sharpen up, and it is not coming without its usual fanfare and uh, all the attributes that definitely would come with it. But however, it is also shaping up in the shape that people are beginning to uh, pick their battles, pick their enemies, and pick their allies at the same time. Tinubu is in the face of the storm at the moment, with lots of issues happening and uh, going on right now. But with the way things are, it might just be unfortunate that the APC will be divided much more than it has already been at the moment. Tinubu is already facing the EFCC probe and which according to reports the Attorney General of the Federation is behind it. But however it remains to be seen if he would come out of it uh, successfully.
it was rumored last week or reported last week that he was actually courting President Muhammad Buhari and begging for mercy so that things would uh, go smoothly and uh, at least even if he's going to be probed, it has to be done with the fear of God as according to the report. But right now, as it is, nobody is sure of how things will eventually pan out. Lots of issues, lots of situations are playing out in different, you know, angle, with different angles and different donations. But it is still yet to be seen what would eventually become of this situation. But however, politicians are known to be able to scheme. They are known for scheming, playing their way out, and also trying to uh, take charge. But it, must, it remains to be seen how things will eventually pan out. Will Tinubu be able to rescue himself from the issues, situations, and challenges that are actually on the ground? To a very large extent, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Maybe or maybe not. But we are hopeful that the interest of the country as a whole will be the key issue to uh, at the end of the day. But Tinubu is facing uh, probe. Some of his properties have been allegedly sealed by the EFCC to mark the beginning of the trial. But it remains to be seen. What are your thoughts, guys? If Malame is eyeing to become, uh, you know, take over uh, from President Muhammad Buhari, the issue there now is how does he intend to do it? How does he intend to beat the uh, other members of the APC? What about the governors in the APC who also have uh, interests? What about other key stakeholders in the APC who has serious interest as well? And who has better profile than he actually does? What will he be doing with those people? Or how does he intend to sideline them or buy them over or, or actually um, lure them to his side? So there are so many uh, angles to this particular situation, to these particular things. But be that as it were, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. In the, games, in the game of politics, you know, the smartest will always win, and it is all about who is wiser, who is smarter, and who is much more luckier. But be that as it were, drop by at the comment section and let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.